Hey guys, it's Dwight, I'm back. So I let that sit for about 30 minutes and my camera did cut off and I got some bigger cells. So I wanna tell you a little bit about this painting and what I was trying to accomplish. I was trying another experiment today and the paints I used today are the um, Deco Arts Americana paints and they do really, really well in these type of pores. If you remember, I did this one um, and those cells, you know, they're different than the one below. And it's probably due to the consistency of the paint. I made these a little thicker. And I think when I make my dump paint, which is black, a little too thick, the cells don't get to expand as much. So if you watched in the video, what I ended up doing was I was creating some negative space down here. Uh, you know, I still have some work to do on that when it dries. I always like a little bit of negative space. However, I'm starting to wonder if I let it go and see if the whole thing fills up at some point, which I think it would, because I think if I had some really nice color, um, it might be an interesting um, abstract piece of art without the negative space like this one here, which works and I like it, but there's something about this that's kind of gnawing on me. So I'll see how I feel about it. The other thing I want to say is, <clears throat> excuse me, Friday, I will probably do another painting since I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the same size canvas. Um, and in that painting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the consistencies of the um, paints that I'm using for each part of it, for the um, base coat, for the puddles, and for the actual dump paint. And hopefully we get a nice painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find some more Decor Americana brand paints. I do have some crimson and I do have some navy. Um, but yeah, let me move in and show you some of the details. Um, yeah, it's like, this is like a little popcorn, popcorn piece. So as you saw, I was trying to get some of this off the edge. And what I'll probably do is when it's done moving, I'm not quite sure if it is because I came back and some of the cells have gotten bigger, is I'm gonna just clean this up since I can't do much more with it at this point, just to kind of finish it off. I just want to show you the details. Lots and lots of cells, popcorn cells, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's, it's hard to tell, you know, on a video, sort of the color. I do like the darker color here, and I think what I might want to do with that is, I gotta think about that. Sometimes I like the dark and then it doesn't show up because I'm using the black. Um, I like the dump paint being black because I just think it gives a great contrast to the colors. So I do still have my chart if you guys are interested in a copy. I've gotten a lot of emails and I appreciate it. I'd be more than happy to send you a chart that shows you ounces needed to complete this size canvas and every canvas in between. So you can send me an email if you like at DwightPores at Yahoo.com and I will be more than happy to send that to you. So anyway, just another fun day in the studio. Sort of getting back to my roots here a little bit. And um, yeah, I'll show you, it'll probably be on the wall when it is completely dry. And by the way, this one here, I sold it and it is headed to California. Just have to let it sit for a little bit and then I will um, do a, a nice light matte varnish on top of it and then I'll send it. Okay guys, you take care, have a great start to your week and we'll see you at the end of the week. Bye-bye.